Obviously had the better chances as you've seen, but they're not clear cut. There's a Van der Beek, Shao Felix, Shao Felix to open the scoring, to open the scoring. <sighs> Slips in, a Campos and it's 1-1. And this is exactly what I mean. Bruno Fernandes, oh, this is going really fast. We're going to go top left. This is sweet, this is sweet. Can't make any of this up. <laughs> There's a Martial, Shatire, Alanga, Anthony Alanga restores the lead. Thank you. Well, Alessandro Martinez lifts another trophy. Manchester United win the first piece of silverware of 2025. Okay, welcome back to another episode of this Manchester United career mode. This is episode number 37, and I hope you guys are ready. What's in store for you today? So, as you already know, we have that showdown at the start of this episode against Bayern Munich, trailing 3 1 on aggregate in the round of 16 Champions League. After that, we have a game in the FA Cup, so that's the that's the no, quarterfinals, sorry, quarterfinals against West Ham United. We're going to get the London. And then we have our home game against Brentford. So with this search, we are likely to find players like this, such as uh, Martin Odegaard, Paqueta, Gimerez, Pochu, uh, Locatelli, Zubamendi, Pinya, uh, Gwendozi. Uh, there's going to be a few box of box first team players that you guys definitely would have heard of. So I'm trying to weigh up my options. I'm obviously going to go for someone that's got a bit of youth um, on their side. Um, obviously, the, the age 27 isn't youthful, youthful and it's not too old, but I prefer to sign someone that's under the age of 26 you can get more out of the player. But yeah, we're about to head off into the second leg of the Champions League. We're at home at Old Trafford, as you already know. We are going to try and climb uh, back into this tie and try to basically tip a spot in the quarterfinals under the noses of Bayern Munich. Can we do it? Let's find out. Okay, so the pressure is definitely on us now. We're at Old Trafford for this encounter. Uh, two goals down. Definitely want to start this game off really positively. Try to get players into the box, create chances. Uh, I just hope we're going to have a good episode. I don't like moaning throughout the episode. And I don't like calling players out or have feeling like the players are not playing for the badge. Hopefully, this could be the episode where we bounce back. Okay, so for Manchester United, David Ahe is in goal, Timbers at the back of Lindelof, Martinez and Malassia, Benesir is in the middle with Sabotzlai and Fernandez. Rashford is up top, Sancho's on the left, and then we have Antti on the right-hand side. Okay, so the game is underway, we're attacking to the right, Bayern Munich are attacking to the left. Let's go, hopefully this encounter uh, could bring happiness to me, bring joy. Because in the first leg, uh, I was more than displeased with our performance. Now it's time to face adversity. For the first time in this save, we've obviously had issues before in the save, but um, because everything's been looking peaches and rosy, and roses, I should say, uh, we've not really felt pressure. Here it is now. As uh, we look to pick them apart down the left-hand side. Malassa puts the ball in Masrawi, makes the block. Ball goes in from Bruno. Header for Marcus Rashford. 1-0. 1-0. In fact, let's go and get the ball. Let's go and get the ball. The players are losing their heads. I'm not too sure why. They still have a one-goal lead that they can nurture. There's uh, Anthony. Nice ball in behind into Marcus Rashford. Thinks it into the centre of the box. Goretzka gets back and clears it out. Yeah, I like the amount of pressure we're applying. The Bavarians, or Dan Malassia, takes it down on his chest. Tries to take on Majrawi. Comes out on top in that battle. Goretzka, 19 minutes gone. 1-0 to us on the day. Goretzka, got back up for, from Malassia for Martinez. Coleman. Pellegrini's offside. Bajrawi. Pellegrini. So Danjuma slips Mane in behind. Mane with the shot. It's 1-1. 4-2 one, one, on the night. It's another setback for United. It's not a good look. He 
Little bodies forward. Rashford plays the ball out left. Intercepted by Majrawi. Coleman. Done Malassia. Plays the ball forward into Marcus Rashford, who takes a decent first touch, gets the ball under control. Still has Romero on him. Anthony oh, tries to find Sabosa Light. He does just about. And uh, the Ligt is really solid at the back. Bayern Munich. Not falling asleep at all, but they do for a matter of seconds. There we go, Anthony. Anthony has found a way to pick the lock of the defence, slipping in behind, and he was slipped in behind, and he slips it into the bottom left corner of Manuel Neuer. It's 2-1, and it's 4-3. Oh, we're on defensive. Let's go to balance. And, uh, yeah, the second half is underway. Comeback is definitely on. We've got another 45 minutes to go. Going to be some added on time as well, so... On, let's go already. We look to start the second half really strong. Jaden Sancho oh, tried to find Anthony on the far right hand side. Malassia turns. Sancho, Malassia got Rashford in the center. Ball played in to Bosselai. Oh, what a save from Manuel Neuer. I wish Rashford made a connection. He was more central. And I feel like if you got a touch on that, it would have been a goal. The boss just in the way. Anthony now. Dan Juma with a long shot. Over the bar it goes. Over the bar it goes. Get taken short by David De Gea. Eight out left to Malassia. Benange switches play. Dimba takes the ball down nicely. Has been a set. Lindelof in the centre circle. Making her way forward. Malassia. Ooh! Rashford! Oh, it took too long to give it to Anthony, but that doesn't matter. It's 3-1. We're back into the game. 4-4 on aggregate. We were 3-1 uh, down going into this match. We are 3-1 up on the night, and it's 4-4. This game is incredible. We are going to snatch this from the Bavarians. Back to David De Gea. There's time and space to pick out a ball on the left-hand side into Malassia. Malassia on the ball. Starting to accelerate into space. Drill it into the box. The Ligt controls it down. I'm not too sure why. And uh, Romero's there. Arshi gets it cleared as uh, Goretzka can take the ball out from the back. The Botsalai was there waiting for the ball to drop kindly. Romero wasn't there. Could have been 4-1. Okay, it's time for us, the home side, to make a substitution. Jaden Sancho, who's played decently. Not... As effective as he could be, he's off for Jao Felix. Felix definitely knows how to turn a game around in crucial moments. Whether it's an assist, being involved in the goal, somehow, definitely knows how to flip a game on its head. Can we deal that final blow? It's not far-fetched. We are looking the better side on the night. Seems like we've almost done enough to turn things around. Here's Bruno. Malassia, Rashford for post. 4-1, 4-1, 4-1, There we go. We've made the comeback. Marcus Rashford on that far post to grab himself the brace. Malassia's done really well in this game on the overlap. And uh, there was about, it was a, it's about time he got an assist. The amount of times he's tried to drill a ball across the box in that position. No one was there. This time around, Alaba loses his man. Rashford knocks it past Neuer to make it 4-1 and 5-4 on aggregate. Let's go, let's go. Defend this. Pellegrini. Let's go. Long shot. <gasps> oh my goodness me. And this is exactly what I mean, man. What is that animation from David De Gea? We, we've not deserved that. We've not deserved that to happen. Not in that moment and not now. Look at this, man. This is just complete foolery. He, he makes the most difficult saves throughout the game and he does that stupid animation. I'm not even blaming the hair, I'm blaming the game, man. I don't know. 93 minutes on the clock. We're in extra time. The first half. Rashford slips Anthony in behind. Left foot shot from Anthony. Neuer makes the save. Shao Felix, oh, come on, this is the opportunity. Marcus Rashford goes round Neuer. Marcus Rashford bags himself a hat-trick. He bags himself a hat-trick. 
Uh, five two. We need to score more. We got about. F I think we got five subs left. We only made one sub in normal time. Um, because we're in extra time, we get an extra sub. So I think we got another five substitutions to make. We're gonna make them at the start of the second half. Masrawi traveling down this right hand side for Bayern Munich. All played in. Lacroix gets the ball out of the pathway of Pellegrini. Falls straight to Manny. And uh, David Ahea does make a save off the Manny. Doesn't make the right connection with the head. Rashford. All played forward into Anthony. The licked. Trying to come across to cut him off. Fernandez. Van der Beek. 6 2. 7 5 on aggregate. That's the goal we needed to separate ourselves in extra time. Finally. Finally, we can breathe a bit. Uh, I can't believe we're in extra time. And this is the scoreline. This is the scoreline. There we go. There we go. We are through. We are through. 1-6-2. I can't believe it's taken six goals for us to confirm a spot in the quarterfinals. Marcus Rashford with the hat-trick. Played magnificently well. Great movement off the ball. Definitely a massive improvement from the previous episodes. Anthony, what a star. What a star. Van der Beek playing his role. Coming off the bench. Bagging that sixth goal. Really important performance from the players overall. Okay, so we got some reports back uh, for the box to box scouting uh, scouting instruction. It says that we've got four new players, which doesn't make any sense. Um, actually, yeah, it does make sense now. No, it doesn't, because Pedri was already on the list. I think this is glitched. Pedri was already on the list, and, and I don't think Enzo Fernandez was. We're going we're gonna to add him. Enzo Fernandez was uh, a target at the start of the save, but we went for Benacer instead. Um, we're also going to take a look at some other instructions. So let's see this one. So this one's for players that could potentially be leaving on the free um, at the end of next season or maybe possibly this season. Um, right now, we haven't got anyone special in the list. Vlahovic, uh, his contract is running down. So he's expected uh, to be a free agent season after the next. So, uh, yeah, we're definitely going to keep our options open. Keep our eyes on top targets in Europe. Because essentially, that's what we need to start doing is bringing in top players. I like signing unconventional players and uh, building them into great world-class players. But sometimes it is needed to get that player like Shao Felix, someone that's already known, someone that's a potential world beater already. And uh, definitely adds to the squad. Um, creates great depth as well. Definitely creates great depth. Because when Sancho's playing badly, I can just bring Felix off. Very, um, very effective off the bench. And uh, Alanga definitely is one of those players that's effective off the bench as well. Okay, so yeah, uh, West Ham United, that's the next game, the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. Like I said before, we're away from home. West Ham, they do have a good side, as you already know. If you've been tuning in, you know what kind of side West Ham have. So they can definitely hurt us if they, if they put their minds to it, definitely. But yeah, let's head off into the next game. I want a victory. I want to book a spot in the semi-finals. Can we do the quad this season? It's looking like it's on. Uh, I've been reminded now why I hate playing against West Ham United in their stadium. These annoying ass bubbles. Uh, so the players are out now for this encounter at the London Stadium. As you can see, the West Ham fans are up for it. I'm sure the West Ham players are. So we definitely need to be on our P's and Q's in this match. Okay, so Alphonse Ariola's in goal for West Ham United. Alvaro Adriazola, he's at the back with Keira. Ke I think that's how you say his name. Tuta and Galan. In the middle, they have Dardai, Zubamendi and Fornaus. On the left, they have Sané. Sanchez is on the right-hand side and up top, they have Osimhen. So we have rotated our side quite a bit. In the starting 11, we have Lafont at the back with Dominic Day, Lacroix, Vardio and Mendes. Kukure is in the middle with Fernandez and Donny van der Beek. Martial's our number nine. Alanga's on the right-hand side. And we have Jadon Sancho off the left. We may switch the two. We, I know they both can play and interchange wings. So that's going to be interesting to see. Okay, let's go. Let's get the game on the way. The bubbles are so distracting. We're attacking to the left. West Ham United are attacking to the right. So we have our young Dominic Day starting for the first time on camera. This ain't his first appearance. But it is his first start as a United first-team player. 17 year old 
being forced into action because of the absence of the low. Not the low, yeah, the low. There's a Fernandez into Kukure. Donny van der Beek. Martial back heels it. Van der Beek inside the box. Chop. Oh, man, this hits the side netting really early on. We're applying that pressure that we need to apply on West Ham United. Been playing out wide for West Ham United. It's not unfamiliar territory for him. And Zubamendi, nice ball into the box. Four now, plays it back into Zubamendi. Awesome Hen with the shot. Lafont with the save. He stands up, the attacker, and shows him up. Wonderful save from the Frenchman. Take another look at that opportunity. It's a first time shot, side foots it. And Lafont reacts quickly. United. All played into the box. Oh no, there's a mess, there's a mess, and there's a goal. There's a goal for West Ham United. I tried to get Lafont to come out for the cross, and for some odd reason, he didn't even dominate the aerial situation. The, the defender in front of him mistimes his jump, barely gets a head on it. Cross from Sane. Like that. It's a langer. It's a langer that gets in the way of Lafont. Poor start to the quarterfinals. West Ham lead. Odriozola, well done, uh, Nuno Mendes. Go on, Martial, overlapping run from Mendes. Odriozola is really quick, recovers really well for West Ham. Oh, opportunity for us. 1-1, one, 1-1. One. One, one. I don't know how Martial's done it, but he's pounced upon the opportunity. Real poacher's goal there. Heads the ball over um, Ariola, his French teammate, his national uh, national teammate. And uh, I, I really, I'm really caught off guard. I'm caught by surprise myself. I thought the defender was going to get the ball cleared. Well done, Martial, for that. Grinded hard for that goal. It's 1-1. One, one. Let's go, Kukure. Carries the ball forward. Bruno Fernandes, right foot shot outside the box. Ariola makes the save. 38 minutes gone. It's 1-1 one, one at the London Stadium. The... Both sides are looking to be on the ascendant seat. Well done, Dominic Day. Come on, Bruno, man. Show for the ball a bit more. Guys just being tucked away and hide. What a challenge from Kukare. Donny van der Beek. Plays the ball into Sancho. Martial. Bruno Fernandes. Oh my goodness me, there was the opportunity there to go 2-1 up before half-time. But that challenge from Kukure is the one that set us off on the attack. Fantastic tackle from the Frenchman. So we have a free kick. A really tight angle. Bruno's going to stand over it. Bruno Fernandez hits it. Tess Ariola out. It's a corner kick. To the forwards. Comes right back for United. Kukure. Bruno. Does really well with his first touch. Finds Alanga. Alanga tries to find Martial in the centre. Last ditch defending there. Was not as effective as it appeared to be. As a United still have the ball has Bruno. Day. Into Kukure. Oh, his pass. Took way too long. Did need to pick up Martial as soon as I could. It's awesome, Hen. Has support from Audrey Azola. Cuts it back. Renato Sanchez. Awesome, Hen. Flicks the ball up and Lafont is off his line. Comes to claim it. 66 minutes gone. Still 1-1 at the London Stadium. Oh, I tried it. I tried it. <laughs> Shout out Felix with the long shot. And uh, Ariola with the save. Tried to do a power shot from long range. Didn't work out the way I imagined. And there's all up the field for United. There we go. Felix. Fernandez. Oh my goodness me. This should be a goal. And there it is. Shola Shatire makes it 2 1. 72 minutes on the clock. An inspired substitution as Shola Shatire bags himself a goal to give us the lead. Nate Zubamendi Osimhen takes a shot look at that look how Lafont dived the opposite way 
I just feel like this game is trying to cause me to go extra time again. I'm not doing that again, guys. I'm not doing it because the full-time whistle's gone. We've won 2-1. We've booked a spot in the semi-finals of the FA Cup. The quadruple is on. Are we going to do it? Are we going to do it? It's not impossible. Uh, I just want to find out who we've got in the quarterfinals of the Champions League and who we've got in the semi-finals of the FA Cup. Okay, so we head straight off into the last game of this episode. We're at home at Old Trafford against Brentford. We're attacking to the right and uh, Brentford there attacking to the left. We have uh, rotated quite a bit. Kukure starts. He gets the nod ahead of Ben Asir. He played quite well in the previous game. Bardio and uh, Maxence Lacroix, they start back-to-back -back games together. Uh, Malasia, he's in for Mendes. We also got Shao Felix start starting over uh, Jaden Sancho. Anthony, he's in the side as well. Up top, we have Marcus Rashford, the usual. Uh, Timbar's on the right-hand side, in for Day, who's on the bench. They're doing that thing again where they swap sides. Really frustrating, man. They need to stop doing that. It ruins the dynamic of the partnership. They don't know what they're doing position-wise. Oh, here's uh, Felix. Anthony Rashford. <laughs> the keeper didn't even bother diving. <laughs> we hit them on the break. We finally got the goal. It was actually getting quite tedious. Marcus Rashford bags another, uh, another goal for us. That's 25 and 23 for Marcus Rashford. Continues form from last season. Continues to be that marksman in front of goal. Urien Timber cuts it back. Rashford with the head up, safe from Strakosha. Rashford tries to double his tally for the game. Tried to make that 26 in 23. Strakosha had other ideas. Was a, we should already be taking this game by the scruff of the neck and running away with it. Here's Anthony riding the challenge. Does really well, the Brazilian. Tried to play uh, Shao Felix in for some odd reason. Couldn't get the angle correct with the pass. Them's God. On Yeka. To Lanky. Takes a right foot shot outside the box. Tests out David Ahe's uh, reflexes. And concedes the corner. Okay. Timber. Rashford. The bots are like. Ben Zabani flies in with a challenge, wins the ball. But Timber can recover it for United. Rashford. Fernandez. Timber. Bukare. Right foot shot. <sighs> Makes the save. Shokosha. Makes the save. Who stays in and gets cleared out by Brentford defender, his whistle. A Solanke running ahead of them. Lose the distributed up the pitch. Whistle with the touch. Tries to go around Lecrae. Oh, what's going on there? Whistle has opportunity to take another shot. Hits the bar. Rebound. David Ahea couldn't stop the rebound. Jada Silva makes it 1-1. And this is... This is what I was talking about when it comes to concentration. We should have put the game to bed. And uh, unfortunately, Brentford have found a way to fight their way back into the game and possibly salvage a point for themselves. It's 1-1. It's cleared. It gets cleared. Come on, we need to up the tempo. Got to press as a team. Ooh, oh, Fernandez, man. Every time we need to play a ball along the ground, Fernandez, you just don't know. You just don't know what you're going to get in terms of the quality of the... A pass and I think that's it guys that's it maybe not one last attack so yeah that's it that concludes this game Manchester United have uh, come away with a draw just a point against Brentford I mean it could have gone either way if Brentford went on to win the game I wouldn't have been disappointed if we won the game I mean it wouldn't have been a surprise to me it could have gone either way as I said um Shared points. I just want to see how it reflects on the table. We haven't dropped points in a while in the league. So I just, I just want to. I'm just hoping that Liverpool don't find a way to crawl their way back into the title race because I want to continue to separate ourselves. Okay, so we're in the menu now. We just dropped points 
against Brentford, but we won the first two games of the episode, which is something I'm ecstatic about. We have progressed in uh, other tournaments. Obviously, the league is still important to us, but those drop points aren't as a, um, aren't as crucial as the victory against Bayern Munich and West Ham United. So yeah, we're gonna quickly take a look at this table to just uh, recap where we are at at this stage of the season. 28 games played for us 65 points on the table we still have a game in hand on the uh, manchester city liverpool and arsenal so all three of those teams on the top four along with us we have a game in hand against so if we was to win that game in hand we could potentially go seven points clear but as it stands we're only four points apart from manchester city uh five points clear of liverpool who were once second place they're sitting at third arsenal are sitting at fourth as i just mentioned before uh, West Ham United their fifth place with uh, 57 points on the table only one point behind Arsenal and they also have a game in hand sixth place are Tottenham Hotspur and uh, it looks like Tottenham have a game in hand on Leicester City so Tottenham they look quite safe in the top six uh, they, they still need to get a few more victories try to separate themselves from Leicester City and, and Chelsea Chelsea seem to be trying to fight back a bit they do win those two games in hand that they have on Leicester City, they could potentially go up to seventh place and uh, get a bit closer to Tottenham Hotspur. When I go to the very bottom, Middlesbrough, they're, they're not doing too badly in terms of the relegation fight. Uh, they are only two points behind Southampton and they have a game in hand on them as well. Uh, but, uh, beneath them are Nottingham Forest, 16 points on the table, 28 games played. They also have games in hand on Sheffield United, who are currently sitting very very low at the bottom with 14 points and their 20th place let's take a quick look at the schedule now so as you can see we're going to be playing against Bayer Leverkusen in the quarterfinals of the Champions League um, in that episode you should expect to see us play against uh, I would say maybe Leverkusen Middlesbrough and Leverkusen again get the quarterfinals out the way and then maybe play against Leicester City um, Leeds United and then Wolverhampton and then yeah I think that's the I think that's a good lineup of games, if I'm honest with you. And uh, that's what you should come to expect, unless we get thrown hurdles, like a, a random fixture gets changed. Or I doubt it. We're at the business end of the season. I think this is set in stone. So that is likely going to be the, the formation of games for the next two episodes. Okay, so we made it to the end now. And uh, if you made it this far, please remember to smash that like button, sub to the channel if you are new, and also hit the notification bell when I go, so you know if I when I go live, premiere a video, or upload one okay so yeah if you are enjoying the content please please keep leaving your comments keep showing your support man really going a long way for me keep dropping those likes as well it's helping uh it's helping out each individual video uh, you're just basically helping it go up the algorithm get pushed um to people's recommend pages and uh yeah i'm noticing the channel growing a lot so that's a testament to you guys showing the support that you have so far yeah we're gonna part ways we're gonna part ways hope to see you in the next episode where we're gonna be taking on labor in the quarterfinals i'm raring to go and looking forward to it peace